What's going on guys? Welcome to the Bear Adventure. I'm Josh. I'm Clayton. And uh, today's going to be Red Show number one. Uh, mm -hmm. Number one. <laughs> yeah, Cardinals number one. Um, Go Cardinals. We're trying out three uh, Irish Reds or Ambers. And we're going to go with one that you may know. The Samuel Adams Red. And two that you may or may not. We've got the uh, Napa Smith Lost Dog Red. And we also have the Jamaican brand red. Um, this is from Mad River. Um, we've got the Samuel Adams Lost Dog Jamaican brand. I have a new thing. We're going to test this out. Give you a look. Kind of what color we're little with. That one. Much paler. The Napa Smith. Woo. And the Jamaican brand. Kind of in the okay. middle. Kind of in the middle. Uh, the reddest one, I would... And the Jamaican brand is a little cloudier. So, we're going to see what we've got. And we'll uh, keep whatever we're testing at the time right there. So, we're going to go first with the Sam Adams. Uh, the Sam Adams is a 5.8% alcohol. Uh, so, it's Irish red. Let's give it a shot. See what we got. It's a nice Irish red. Uh, it's got a lot of malt character. Um, real easy, real light taste. Um, not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of smell. What do you think? Yeah, it's real smooth, kind of a little bit of a caramel note mm -hmm. uh, as it cleanses off the palate. I like it. Uh, it's a nice mellow, nice mellow red. Uh, it's got a good amber color. Uh, most of the reds are going to be more towards a malty as opposed to a hoppy flavor. Uh, and it does. It's pretty stereotypical of that. Um, I like it. Let's go ahead for the Napa Smith Lost Dog. Um, I was really surprised at the color of this. Uh, it's almost, you know, like the IPA color or something. Now, I definitely smell more malt. Mm -hmm. More aromatic, for sure. Um, but it is real. It, 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 is, it is finishing very mellow. Now, this is a 7.2. Uh, so, this definitely has quite a bit more alcohol content. Um, you can taste a little bit of the alcohol flavor. Just a touch at the very yes. beginning. Not much. but Not much. Uh, still not one of the real heavy, high-gravity beers. And you get a little bit of lacing on the glass. Uh, I do like it, but if I was going to drink uh, a six-pack of Reds, um, I don't right. think I would choose that one. No, I don't think I would. I don't think I would choose a six-pack of this. Uh, it is nice. I don't know that I would, you know, buy a six-pack for just hey, I'm going to watch the game and drink six of these. Uh, this is a mix-in beer. I'd definitely say. Um, we'll see. I do kind of enjoy that color. That is, that's kind of yeah, neat. It's a little different for a red. Um, it's got good flavor though. Yeah, it's good flavor. And the uh, Jamaica brand red, which has a little bit of a, it it's, seems like a little cloudier yeah, almost. So not as cloudy as the uh, as the lost dog. As the lost dog, but you got the tint with the red. Yeah. And some of the so it's kind so, of a. I mean, now this is a too. yeah this is a six five. Now I do smell a little more. On this, yeah, a little bit kind of has almost kind of a, bit of a sweet smell to it. Yeah, a little bit. It's pretty malty. Um, this is much more mellow. Uh, Mad Rivers in Blue Lake, California. Uh, Napa Smith, obviously, uh, Napa Valley, and I think uh, if you actually ever drink beer, you'll know, you know, where Sam Adams is from. That's the largest American brewery right now. This one's pretty good, but it's there's definitely something different. Yeah, there's. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, I like it though. Yeah, it's, I do like it's it. A lot. Unique enough, it has its own flavor in the in it, but there's also you have a lot of similarities between some of the other reds of it. The the malts do carry through all three of these. Um, this one is a little sweeter than the Sam Adams, um, mm -hmm. but. I don't know that I dislike that. I 
I'm not really sure. It lights the glass if you're into that. That's that's pretty neat. Glass um, got a little bit of sediment. Yeah. Very little, not much at all. Um. This I, I this would be a good burger beer. Yeah. Go uh, some burgers, yeah. some hot dogs, stuff like that. This would stand up. This has got a little more flavor, um, just overall body than the Sam Adams does. Uh, maybe because of the slightly higher alcohol content, but this might stand up to you know that you know cheddar bacon burger. I think. Um, I think I could sit down and drink more of the Sam Adams uh, in one sitting. Um, but I, I think I could sit down and drink more of the the Jamaican brand in one sitting than I could the Lost Dog. Mm -hmm. um, the I hesitate to say that the Sam Adams is the most tame of the three, but it is the most simple. Yeah. But not in a bad way. Just yeah, it's simple. Uh, kind of more. Characteristic of a lot of your mainstream, I guess, yeah. reds that are out there, like the Killians and stuff like that, they all kind of have a general characteristic that fits them. Whereas with like the other two, they have enough of a variance, you know, to, to be like, oh, I'm enjoying the characteristics of a red, but there's also some other details in there with it. Yeah, I think I think what what we're trying to convey is maybe the Sam Adams is more of the the textbook red. And the others, the the smaller breweries have kind of tried to put their own spin on it a little bit. Yeah, add their own. Which, own. as much as I like people adding their own spin, some things you don't want to spend too much. Yeah. Um. So by all means, I would never, I would not discount the uh, the Sam Adams Red. That's that's a really yeah. good beer. And when I taste them through again, there's more of a more of a malt. On that Sam Adams. The Lost Dog is definitely sweeter. Um, and the uh, Jamaican brand red. There's just a little something different. Uh, I wonder if they may have a little ginger. That could be possible. I think I think maybe there maybe there's a little ginger note to that. Um, do some I dig it. Later on or something. Yeah, I may have to look. Uh, check Facebook for that. We may, we may have found something that we missed. Um, yeah. What do you, what do you rate them? Uh, which one do you like the best? Um, <clears throat> being that red's probably one of the more favorite uh, styles. Um, I actually kind of like the Jamaican one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah probably the most out of the three, just because like you have all the characteristics. And all of these of your reds, but like just an extra little bit of maybe this and ginger or whatever it is, um, kind of gives it its own uniqueness um, in a good way. That's kind of a little bit different than a lot of the other reds I've had. And so out of you know this uh, bundle of reds that we're doing yeah, these uh, today, I have to say that's probably my favorite of the three. Uh, they, they're all good and enjoyable, something like that. And I said that was the three that was probably my favorite, just because of that whatever that, that extra little bit is in there. Uh, gives it its own kind of just yeah. kicks awesome. it up a notch a little bit. For me, uh, I have to rate mine a little different than most people would. If I'm going to drink a handful of them, you know, I'm going to buy a six pack and I'm going to watch a movie after work. Uh, I'm probably going to buy that, that Sam Adams six pack. Uh, it's an easy drinking, it's a good beer, you know, to go well with food and things like that. Uh, if I was in a bar and I had all three of these to choose from and I'm gonna buy one and sit there with my friends I'm gonna buy that Jamaican brand uh, there's that like you said there's that little bit of something extra um, I hate to discount the lost dog um, you know honestly had it been in in one of our other upcoming red shows it may not have been third place in this um, it is a good beer it just got a little overshadowed in these other two yeah so uh, I would definitely give the Sam Adams uh, a nice. That, that's that's a that's a seven out of ten for me. Um, I'd give the Jamaican an eight, uh, but I, I would give that 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 lost dog a seven also. Um, 
it's not a six beer on my account. It's a seven. It's there's enough something special there that pulls it away from just that average, uh, you know, too close to average beer. Um, like I said, it it might have it might have might have beat something else in another comparison. Yeah, that's very possible. I mean, we, somewhere down the road after we do some more of these, we come back and revisit some of them, intermix with some of the other ones we do, or something like that. So, um, as for me, I went to say probably for about the same, you know, like. An eight and a seven and a seven, um, mm -hmm. just because the fact that you know this one was, you know, stands out, smooth, good character. You know, it's a good consumption of beers. We call it there to sit there and, like you sit down and enjoy it, the six pack of it in the evening and stuff like that. Uh, whereas the other ones, uh, probably the Jamaican one for sure. Mm -hmm. And this one, you know, it, you know, I could probably enjoy two or three of them because uh, it wasn't bad. But it, I don't know if I would just enjoy more than two or three of them at a time. Uh, but again, in the mix of these three, like I said, it may come along sometime later down the road and just be like, it may be the top dog out of a set of reviews and stuff we do. It's just a matter of, you know, what we got going on. And All right. Well, that's it. Um, stay tuned. There'll be another red show or two or three or four or five. Uh, we have enough variety. We can do, we can do oh, definitely. Ones. Well, hope you enjoyed it. Try a new beer. I'm Josh. I'm Clayton. Beer adventure. Have a good one. Cheers.